we understand the engine architecture by now we also know that ims or ip multimedia subsystem is the central entity or the infrastructure that provides or enables sip based uh, voice and video calling uh, in this module uh, we are going to look at something known as the presence service uh, in sip or session initiation protocol jargon known as the location service um, we are going to look at how such information can be represented using xml and json uh, and then we are going to look at the architecture so the purpose is to achieve efficiency in terms of time and computational complexity to have uh, uh, the present service in ims uh, we know that ims essentially provides a, a quality of service for call control uh, some billing mechanism uh, service creation for users whether it's a voice call video call interactive chat uh, video conferencing etc it has uh, various call and session control functions uh, then uh, there is something known as presence service or location service uh, a certain caller is interested in knowing if a callee is online it is accessible uh, the callee can be identified uh, through certain uh, address uh, which is mapped onto a certain uh, location and the status of the particular uh, callee depending upon different scenarios for example uh, uh, in road traffic management situation we are interested in exactly determining the long lat um for road safety applications maybe similarly for healthcare we are interested in knowing exactly the ward the bed and the status of the patient to be looked into here this is a typical example of a person in this case christopher glen uh, uh, he is available on desktop as a caller and he is interested in reaching out to different colleagues like smith john smith uh jane do jim chan um uh, etc etc now each of these are marked by presence green uh not available red or do not disturb anyone offline now uh this information is very important to make calls in ims we have two um options either we use xml or we use a uh, json since the case in point is json uh, we are going to compare it with xml now these uh, two uh, representations are based on either the hierarchical tagged uh, representation in xml or the key value pair representation in uh, json comparing xml and uh, json that is extensible markup language and javascript object notation these are very well known uh, data representation and interchange formats the uh, extensive prevalence of both of these uh, allows us to pick and choose between either of them um, since the case in point is json it is important to first of all build the case the presence information can turn out to be very frequent and the notation uh, that encodes it is going to eventually determine the bulk or the volume of data and the signaling associated with it in terms of communication since both these formats represent same presence information uh, json as we saw in the last uh, slide is 40% less in terms of size as compared to um, uh, xml so this results into better uh, transmission time and system resources but uh, it is important to equally understand that json has some limitations because it can represent numbers it can represent binary arrays etc but uh, xml is is the super set of it which can represent even date and binary information as well now the uh, paper that i'm referring to uh, presents this end to end architecture in which we have the user equipment uh, with their with their own devices uh, which are either sip enabled um, or sip compatible these devices are communicating to the ims network now through a gateway that comprises certain entities like a proxy a proxy works for those nodes which are adaptable or sip operable but not exactly sip compliant then we have the uh, rtc the real time uh, communication uh, web rtc standard uh, based um, 
a breaker that uh, bridges between uh, different uh, uh, encoding formats. Then we have the media codec uh, that allows uh, different browsers with different features to have uh, video conferencing capability in particular. Uh, now on the right hand side, the IMS network comprises the uh, call and signaling control functions as in proxy, serving and interrogating. Then we have the database in terms of the HSS home subscriber station. And then we have the uh, application servers which are providing different services like audio, video, video conferencing, sensing services, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the, uh, the paper that I'm referring to uses open IMS for its implementation and uh, uh, Camellio, uh, which is uh, uh, for SIP based presence services. Uh, so SIP proxy server actually is uh, for converting the uh, typical UDP TCP requests into SIP uh, enabled uh, transport. Uh, the web breaker, uh, as I said, converts the media streams between uh, uh, different clients, uh, which are either uh, SIP uh, legacy terminals or purely web-based clients. The Kodak allows transcoding to uh, al allow video calls between different browsers. Uh, the paper is from Conference on Ubiquitous and Future Networks, uh, published back in 2015, um, it, uh, improving the efficiency of present services in IMS. Uh, the authors are, I guess, from, from Taiwan.